been there, done that, been to the Olympics, Commonwealth Games. Very, very smooth players we've seen throughout the day. So, yeah, interesting interesting to see how it goes. I'm really looking forward to seeing Nathan play. It's a player I haven't seen too much of, but I've heard a lot a lot about. So, yeah, and great, the, great match. Yeah, and Nathan Zoo's had a winner. So, but as you said, he's beaten the likes of Heming Hu, the Australian number one. So, oh, never know what could happen. Indeed. So, these players just doing their final warm-ups, getting themselves ready. Match. Not going to step down here. Christian is going to be very cool, calm, smooth. understands the game well you know when to when to play the ball on he looks really solid from back from the table Nathan so he does I feel he's gonna he's gonna Chris he's gonna try and play Nathan into those awkward backhand positions in the doubles with his variation on the flicks and the forehand receive. With the spin between the top spin is, is deadly. Very easy, so he does. Uh, it's actually quite annoying, so it is. <laughs> Aren't you about uh, your golf ability. <laughs> so me and John be the, the perfect, the perfect technique. <laughs> So that was an excellent first game by Nathan Zhu, just uh, able to put enough balls on the table. And he, he seemed to play that ball into Chris's middle um, quite a few times, maybe three or four points. He won the point by just going into the forehand side of the middle. Middle and make him m get out of position and then move him is going to be really, really effective. But <laughs> easier said than done, especially with someone with Chris's quality on the ball. Needs to just pin him into the back end. Keep keep him there. Don't. In time. comfortable enough to do it.
Yeah, so that... Oh, Nathan. Great hands by now. And Christian takes the second. Well, it's been tight. It's been really tight here. And it, I, I, I feel like Christian is starting to dominate the rallies though now. Um, and it's just, if he starts to place that ball a bit better, maybe he can really start to dominate this match. Yeah. First, Nathan's just really picking scraps at the moment. It feels like that anyway. anyway. Every time Nathan's winning this point, it's from back from the table in the tops and the top spin rallies when Chris makes an odd error. But I mean, Nathan's good there, you know. And, yeah, and it's sort of his game as well. Yeah. He he wants to get into those rallies and yeah. beat you that way. Yeah, he likes the scrap, but but you know, I don't think you can allow Chris too many opportunities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There and you know, here's John. Got the got the arm actions, the hand actions, the, the fist pump. See, this means a lot to uh, the Aussie bench. Great combination from Chris there. Game or so. Ooh. Beautiful from Nathan there. Such great movement out wide there. Oh, nice change up. Beautiful direction by Nathan Zoo. Keeping Nathan in that back end. Nathan can't really do anything, he's just keeping the ball on. I think uh, you know this. This point here is vital. Yeah, I to totally agree. Nathan Zoo needs to close this game out. Less. Same. Good, good receive from Chris. Just kept it short. Nathan couldn't do much with it. Gave him the opportunity to get in with the forehand.
took the gamble, he pivoted, and he made it. Great shot from Nathan to take a 2-1 lead. Oh, that's really strong play by Nathan Zhu to be able to close this match out against Christiane, but uh, certainly in a good, good position. And John Murphy there, very animated, you can see. Just got some really strong, clear messages that he's giving to Christiane things he wants to do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure John would have coached a lot against Nathan with the uh, with the two young old game. To find that balance in the mid middle. Errors on the back end as well. Just the concentration made a little bit. To P6. Ash, that, that was a big turnaround there. What what did you see? I felt uh, Chris as well took a pace a little bit off his backhand into Nathan's backhand. Just made sure he put the ball on instead of maybe going for those little bit 50-50, 60-40 shots. And it paid dividends because I feel once he gets that a little bit of pace off the ball when he plays his backhand, it allows him to play have a little bit extra time when he plays his forehand, step away from the table and then crunch the ball into any position he wants. Five, Christiane. Nathan Zoo. A little bit there. And, and it off the table. Back into the corner, regroup with your with your team and start again. Start fresh. There's the shot we're talking about. Ten eight. Ten all. That's great positioning by the by Christian. Yeah, great play. I feel that's a big point. Great shot from Chris. Yeah. See, he's struggling with Nathan's flick. Every time Nathan flicks. Great change. Great change from Chris there. 
Just after Nathan flipped that one there, Chris just took it a little bit later and just made sure it went on the table to see what Nathan would do. Again, that flick. No! <laughs> That's unbelievable, table tennis. Match point. Point for the Olympics. And Australia do it. And there it is. Chris Yan gets Australia over the line. An incredible last match there. Got a feel for the, the young boy there. He didn't do anything wrong at all. The... That was an incredible match by uh, Nathan Zhu. And uh, you see there, 9-11, 11-9, 10-12, 11-3, 11-9. Chris Yan, three games to two. Australia winning the match. Ash, what, what, are, these, what are these Australians feeling right now? Uh, I, I think the relief would be a big thing. I think uh, the, they came into this event being favourites, I think. And... Yeah, I think they always thought they could, they would do the job, but still, you're always that bit nervous and on the edge with them butterflies in the stomach. But I'd say relief, and uh, yeah, it's a very happy camp now. Yeah, absolutely. And you can see there that Heming, who's pretty happy, he would have had to uh, get out on court next. Yeah, well, I would Tengting have been Luke. fascinated to see that match. I think. Should we just get them yeah, out there anyway? Yeah, because <laughs> I feel New Zealand would have been favourite in that match to go to two-two. So it proves that it really wasn't just a three-nil. No, it was uh, that was that was tough. That was uh, yeah. that was great table tennis. Yeah. And and for the Oceania region, yeah, what a, what a boost to see this uh, New Zealand team just really p uh, uh, give it up to uh, the Australian team. And there's confirmation of the result. Tom Murphy's face down there in the corner. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> and a big pressure under the day. And a lot of elation from that Australian team, and they and they should be uh, really pleased with. Uh, their efforts because as you said you know they were favorites they had the pressure on them but this we knew was going to be a tough New Zealand team and probably the best New Zealand team that we've had for uh, a long time actually that's a big day the women getting through against uh, Fiji the uh, the, uh, the men against New Zealand tell me a little bit about your feelings right now yeah, I couldn't have went any better um, obviously to get the two teams over the line yeah, that was the big goal for 2019 um, obviously, we played a lot of competitions this year, and we knew we were going to end the year with this. And uh, I suppose it makes 2019 really successful. And obviously, for the players, it's uh, something to look forward to now in 2020 and prepare the best three players uh, to go to the Olympic Games. Yeah. So, th just tell me a little bit about that that men's match. Like it, it, on the scoreboard, it says 3-0, but there was some tough scrapping in there. Yeah, absolutely. I just said to the boys after the match, that's a great team performance to win 3-0 there. Um, obviously we were confident before the match and um, obviously uh, Hemming just come back from the World Cup and he, he's been in good shape there and uh, you know we, 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 we trusted him to play two singles and you know he came up with the goods to win that match and to be 2-0 up uh, you know we couldn't have had a, a more experienced man going in to close the match out and that was our feeling on the bench at 2-2 there in the, in the last match you know if we had to pick one player to go out and play that last set it would be Chris and I think he showed it how he finished the match you know it's a big credit to him yeah, your man Blair was was difficult uh, f for both players, and and gee, Nathan Zhu put up a great fight there um, in that in that last match. You've you've got a little bit of experience against Nathan Zhu, I guess. You've you've benched against him with uh, with our young boys. Yeah, absolutely. And and Nathan's the best in my mind. You know, even though he's a he's a Kiwi, he's the best junior player from this side of the world. Um, you know, we've had some big battles with him at the junior scene, but he really puts it up to these senior guys. I've seen him at the World Championships this year. You know, he's, he's competing with, with, with top 200 players, so, you know, we didn't take him lightly and we knew he would. Congratulations on getting both the Australian women's and Australian men's teams through to Tokyo 2020. Thank Thanks you very, very much. much for joining Thank us. Thank you.